In this video, we're going to focus on the on hover effect. So the on hover effect is very similar to the on click, except instead of triggering by click, it is triggered by hover. And if you saw the previous video, we already figured out how to put in a function. And that's really nice because functions can create more things. However, now instead of clicking here, what we want to do now is we want to hover over it and then trigger the same command. So how to do this? Well, very simple. Here, you should just follow in the documentation as well. It says here it's a function. So we say here on hover. So instead of on click, we just change this here. We'll just call this on hover. And pay attention to the capital. This is all capital letters. And once you did that, refresh the page. And then you can see now, once we hover, it triggers automatically. And if we stay with our mouse here, you can see we get so many alert boxes. Of course, you can use this with anything you want. So let me explain a little bit about what we did with the functions. So if you understand here, it says you use the function. So basically what we only do, we trigger the function name. Which says if it's on hover, trigger this function. But this function, of course, you need to specify outside of chart.js. That's very important. If you look at this, you can see this is all chart.js. And then outside of chart.js, when we close this here, you see it closes here the chart command here. Then you put in your function and from there on you can continue on. And this is really nice. And this can be really interesting because with this you can do so much.